On September 11th, 2019, Taco Bell will be discontinuing a number of specialty items in order to make room for new items coming to the menu. Some of those are classics that people tend to know and love. And today, the day before their final day on the Taco Bell menu, I'm going to try almost every item that is being discontinued one last time. This is a very special episode of Taste Test. Everybody and welcome to a Big C TV taste test. My name is Chris. Today, as the intro said, we are going to be trying a number of Taco Bell items that are about to be discontinued. So this video is being filmed on September 10th, 2019. Tomorrow, September 11th, is the final day you can get these items. So if you want a chance, you have one day to try them out for yourself. And there are a number of good ones on here. There's a few things that I've had before. But there's a few things that I've never tried, and I figure, you know what? This is the perfect opportunity. Let's give these items a shot and see how they fare. We're going to start off with an item that I know is good, because it is one of my favorite items at Taco Bell, and I'm very sad to say it is going away forever starting tomorrow. Or, not tomorrow, Thursday. And that is the Fiery Doritos Locos Taco. Now, there are currently three versions of the Doritos Locos Taco. Fiery, Cool Ranch, and Nacho Cheese. Two of them are being discontinued. I'm sure you can guess which ones, but I'm going to try them both for your pleasure. So, let's start off with a Fiery Doritos Locos Taco. Bottoms up. Doritos Locos Tacos, of course... So the hard shell taco. The main one has nacho cheese flavoring on it. Tastes kind of like a Dorito. The fiery one is actually exclusive to Taco Bell. And it's supposed to be kind of a spicy variant. It's probably closest to the um, the new Flamin' Hot, although not quite as spicy. It's really good. It has a good flavor. It has a little bit of a heat to it. Adds a lot of flavor, especially if you get it as a cheesy gordita crunch. Oh boy, you're in for a treat. Of the Doritos Locos Tacos, that one's my favorite, so I'm really sad to see it go, but I guess it wasn't selling enough, so press F to pay respects to the fiery Doritos Locos Taco. Speaking of Doritos Locos Tacos, we are also going to pay tribute to the Cool Ranch Doritos Locos Taco. Many find Cool Ranch to be their preferred flavor of Dorito. Apparently for Doritos Locos Tacos, this was not the case. Let's take a bite. Bottoms up. Typically, the Cool Ranch Doritos Locos <clears throat> is pretty hit or miss because there's usually not enough flavoring. Oddly enough, what is probably going to be my final Cool Ranch Doritos Locos taco, the flavoring was on point. It was actually quite tasty. If all of them were like that, I would probably have ordered the Cool Ranch version a little bit more. But I pref still prefer Fiery, but that was actually pretty solid. So, farewell, Cool Ranch Doritos Locos Taco. Next up, we're going to go to a value menu item that is sadly being discontinued. This little pocket is for the dollar beefy mini quesadilla. It's basically a soft taco that has been grilled and pressed into a mini quesadilla. Let's try it. Bottoms up. I forgot that that one has the chipotle sauce that they usually put on the chicken quesadilla on there as well, which actually gives it a nice flavor. It's not that sad of a loss. It's pretty good, but honestly, if I'm looking for a quesadilla, I'd rather go with one of the chickens, either the main chicken quesadilla or the, um, the dollar shredded chicken quesadilla. But... 
Farewell, beef small quesadilla. Next item on the list is an item that many people are very surprised is being discontinued because it was kind of a Taco Bell mainstay for the longest time. That is the Double Decker Taco. So basically what this is, it is a hard shell taco that is inside a soft shell taco that is stuck together with beans. There's multiple layers going. It's pretty big and flavorful. Let's try it out. Bottoms up. It's basically if you took a taco, shoved it in the middle of a bean burrito. It's good, and if you like both of those things, you'll really like this taco. It's got good flavor, and it's, it's a pretty classic item. That one's one I have a feeling if you really, really want it, they can probably special make it for you, but it is being removed from the regular menu. I pay respect to the Double Decker Taco. Next, the Loaded Grillers are a line of Taco Bell items where you essentially got kind of Taco Bell's interpretation of other classic grab-and-go foods. Like they did their interpretation of nachos, their interpretation of like a loaded potato. And then this is their Chipotle chicken loaded griller. So it's chicken, Chipotle sauce, and like a, I think it's just sour cream. Grilled, pressed, turned into a delicious burrito. Let's try it out, see how it is. Bottoms up. Very simple. It's literally three items. It's chicken and two sauces. You get like a big burst of sauce. And a lot of times there's more sauce in these than almost chicken. But it's a good item. I feel there are other things that can kind of fill the void that this item leaves, especially the chicken quesadilla. But again, I do feel this is an item where the sum of its parts are all stuff you can typically find at Taco Bell. So I bet you if you ask nicely, you can probably get this made for you. So farewell, Chipotle chicken loaded griller. All right, this last item, I thought it was kind of a surprise that it's being discontinued because it's a big one. This is the XXL Grilled Stuff Burrito. So essentially this is like their everything burrito. It's got all kinds of stuff in it. This thing is huge. It's, it's gigantic. Why they're discontinuing it? I guess nobody wants a burrito that has everything in it. So I'm going to take a bite of this monstrosity and see how it goes. Bottoms up. I mean, of course it's good. It's got sauce, and it's got cheese. It's got your choice of meat. I went with steak because I figure if I'm gonna get the grilled stuffed burrito, I'm gonna get the grilled stuffed burrito. So I got some steak in it. It's got beans, it's got rice. It's got a ton of stuff in it. It's a good burrito. It's a very hearty burrito. And, and honestly, that might be why they're discontinuing it is honestly, if you get that burrito, you probably don't need anything else from Taco Bell, especially because that's got literally everything you want in it. <laughs> so that's it. All of these items are being discontinued over the next couple days. Now, there are a couple items I did not get off of the menu that are being discontinued. Those are the, the Power Burrito. So it's basically like their healthy alternative to the Grilled Stuff Burrito. It's got a whole bunch of, of healthier ingredients. The Double Tostada and then chips and salsa. None of those are particularly exciting to me, so I didn't order them, but those are also being discontinued on the 12th. So if you want to try any of these Taco Bell items, or if you're interested in just you know, trying for the first time, maybe, you have one day to do it as of this recording. They are all discontinued on September 12th, so go to your nearest Taco Bell, press F to pay respects, and enjoy some of these items before they go away forever. That is going to do it for this episode of Big C TV Taste Test. Hope you enjoyed it. Look for plenty more episodes throughout the rest of the year, including some more Halloween spooktacular awesomeness. I got lots of stuff planned for it. It's going to be great this year. I can assure you of that. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time on Big C TV Taste Test. I'm going to enjoy more tacos. Bye.